This is the speaking mock test of the International English Language Testing System taking place in Ross IELTS Academy. The candidate is Dennis. The candidate number is 01313458. The examiner is Jason. Examiner number 443533. Good afternoon. My name is Jason. Would you please tell me your full name? My full name is Dennis Kahraman. Great. And can I see your identification, please? Of course. Thank you. Okay, thanks. In the first part of the exam, I will ask you some personal questions. Let's talk about your hometown. How has your hometown changed over the years? My hometown is located in the north part of Istanbul and it's, it changed from a small fisher town to an uh, area of a city, actually, because of the development of an airport. Great. Are there good transportation links to your hometown? There are buses to my hometown. The variety is quite small because there are only buses, but the uh, quantity of the buses are many. Mm -hmm. What kind of jobs do the people in your hometown do? Well, elderly fishes a lot in the town and they uh, do it as a job, but the current generation works on airport. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about celebrities. Who is your favorite celebrity? My favorite celebrity is Jason Statham. Uh, I like his voice, his shape, and his acting on the movies, and the kind of his movies. Great. Would you want to be a celebrity in the future? Actually, if I would be a celebrity in my own area, I would love to be one, but if it would be an otherwise, I don't want to be one. Nice. Do you think we should protect famous people's privacy? Yes, they should have their own privacy in their own private areas. And it includes restaurants and other places because they have their own lives and it will hurt them. Nice. Let's move on to talk about music. What's your favorite type of music? My favorite type of music is rock. Actually, my, uh, my me myself is a drummer and I've been on stages for many years and I like uh, like ACDC, Red Hot Chili Peppers kind of stuff and I love okay. music. Thank you. Is live music popular in your country? Yes, actually it's quite popular. Uh, currently we have our own national celebrities that can perform live and also there are very famous groups that comes from other parts of the world and actually I love live music also. Have you ever been to a concert before? Yes, of course. I've been to many. Uh, however, due to COVID, I couldn't be able to attend one. Great. Thank you. This is the end of part one. Now, in part two, I will give you a card with a topic, and you have to talk about it for two minutes. But before you talk, you have one minute to think about what you're going to say, and you can uh, make some notes to help you if you wish. Do you understand? Yes. Thank you. Great. And I tell you when to start and when to stop. This is your cue card and piece of paper and your pen. Thank you. Okay. I would like you to describe a happy childhood event. Okay? Your one minute preparation time starts now. Okay, your one minute is over, so please begin speaking. Okay, you wanted me to describe a happy childhood event. I remember that when I was eight, uh, my mother attended me to a Metallica concert in Istanbul, and it was very fascinating for a, a child in my age. 
and uh, I think this is because I love rock. Actually, uh, my mother was there, and there was a stadium full of people. And uh, when I was that age, I of course I didn't know English, but I liked the sound of the language, and I liked the rock rock and roll. And also, I felt very fascinating while watching Metallica, uh, because they are very famous bands, and uh, a child in my age is not that particularly entered in those kind of stuff at that age, and I felt very proud and lucky because of, because of it. Uh, my mother actually um, takes me to a lot of concerts and in every age of my life, but it was a really good and happy particular moment in my childhood. Great. Can you add more information? Yeah, of course. Um, it was in a stadium called Alisamian, which has been uh, destroyed currently, and uh, I, I felt very lucky also for attending a concert in this stadium because many people in my generation couldn't able to attend the concert in the stadium. Uh, and uh, currently Metallica is not coming that uh, frequently to Turkey and it's also a very good part of the situation. Okay, great. Thank you. This is the end of part two. Let's go to part three. Can I have your card, please? Of course. Thanks. Okay. In part two, you talked about a happy childhood event. And now in this part, I want to ask you some questions related to this topic, okay? Let's consider changing. Do you think change is good? I think change is good and required for people and for a community. And why do you think that is really? Uh, because uh, the world is also changing due to the technology and other uh, facilities and people should change to adapt this, otherwise it will be very hard to live in this world together. Mm -hmm. What are some of the major changes that occur to people throughout their lives? Okay, I think first of them is uh, after childhood. We born and raised up to childhood and uh, we learn many things and we try to learn uh, as much as possible. Uh, but after the childhood, uh, we try to live with the things we have learned. Can you give me, for instance? Uh, like uh, what to do in public and uh, where to go, how to go and uh, how to act against someone, something and how to learn something. O also we learn of course reading and writing and other kind of stuff. And, but at the end of the childhood we use those things that we have learned. Great. Is your country changing rapidly? Well. I think my country is changing, but I cannot say that it is changing rapidly. Because I think uh, in those parts, people are quite conservative and they, they do not want to change, which is, which is the meaning of conservative. And uh, people fight, but the new generation is quite linked with the world and the rest of the world, and they are uh, changing rapidly, I suppose. Nice. In what ways? have changes in technology changed people's lives? Um, actually, one of the most important ones is mobile phones. Actually, in my childhood, uh, the mobile phones are not used that quite uh, because we can o o only call people and text them. But currently, we can use them as TVs and PCs and all other technological stuff in just in one mobile phone. Uh, and I think it's the most dramatic change in the cur current history and it changed the habits of people and uh, the life in Earth completely. Do you think this change just is limited to our devices like phones and PCs? No, of course. It's also uh, linked to utility and transportation and all other stuff that links Earth to each other and makes a one world rather than uh, divided countries. Great. Why do old people not accept change? Well, I, don't, I think they simply don't think that they can adapt it. 
because it's hard to adapt changes. Even though in my age, I cannot um, adapt the changes that my cousins went through currently, and they are younger than me. Uh, however, if they wanted to try it, they can do it. My grandfathers, grandmothers use mobile phones and smartphones actually, and they adapted very fast. Okay, thank you very much. This is the end of the test. Okay, you thanks. Can just so relax much. now, it's over. Do you want to know what band score you'll get in the IELTS speaking test? Perhaps you want to improve your performance and prepare yourself for the real test? Then why not book an online mock test with us that will last for 25 minutes, 12 minutes of the test itself and 13 minutes of comprehensive feedback. Plus, we'll give you useful tips on how to make your performance better. Remember, all our examiners are especially trained by British Council instructors. So, we know how to help you. Join us. Okay, just before I share your band score, can you tell me how did you feel about your performance today? Well, actually I felt it was good, but I think it was not my best. Uh, because uh, for some time I don't speak English and it's, it's the first time that I do it. Okay, great. What band score are you looking for? Well, anything above the acceptance level for the graduate studies is okay for me, but I want to uh, take as much as I can. Let's go to your uh, band score now. I mean, first uh, by the four criteria. The first one is fluency and coherence, which tells uh, what you can do in your speaking by their fluency, making your forts or not. You were pretty good in this part. Unfortunately, you couldn't uh, finish part two. I mean, you couldn't speak for two minutes. This is really important and it definitely uh, maybe lowers your mark. Okay. So, uh, but you use pretty good connectives like actually, even though, also, however, but, first of all, first of them. Okay. They were really nice and you need to use them to get a seven band score. But I gave you a six for today. Uh, the main reason is not uh, finishing part two for two minutes, okay? Yes. Which is okay, I think, because it was your first time and you didn't know what to do in part two, okay? I'm just giving you the strategies and how you should perform in uh, each part, okay? So in part two, make sure that you go and the examiner stops you when the time is over. Okay. So you don't need to worry about the time that, okay, is it one minute and a half or two minutes? It's, it's totally fine. And... Uh, you can maybe go for maybe a wider range of connectives because you repeated actually a lot and because, okay, sometimes you were starting your sentences with well, 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 here and there. It's okay, they are totally fine, grammatically correct, but you can go for some al maybe uh, other words like art alternatives instead of actually you could just, for example, in fact, to be honest, okay, and uh, once you used even though, but what you had to use was even. Okay, when you were talking about yourself, say, even though I'm, but it was even I myself, okay? So that was the misuse of it. That's fine, no problem. Let's go uh, for your vocabulary. In terms of vocabulary, you were pretty uh, okay by using different vocabulary for the topics, but the range was not enough. I mean, it was good enough to cover the topics, but you need to show more of them when it comes to band score 7 or if you want to get the 8. And uh, you use a variety quite well, uh, particularly, simply. You, I think you are aware of those words and you can just use them more, okay? It's really important to use adverbs and adjectives with your words. Use more collocations, okay? For instance, instead of just simply using I have a good job, you can say I have a promising job, okay? Uh, my for example, my job security is very well or those kind of things. Use collocations, phrasal verbs. You need to use uh, uh, maybe the technique which is paraphrasing. When I ask you the question, you don't need to repeat the words that I just gave you, okay? It's better to go for maybe synonyms when, for example, it comes to the question, uh, how has your hometown changed? You can use 
uh, turn into instead of change or alter some other words instead of the words I just gave you. The paraphrasing will help you to get a seven. You get another six for your vocabulary, okay? And uh, for your grammar, I think that was nice. Uh, your grammar was, the range that you used was pretty nice, okay? It was cool. You went for if clauses, relative clauses, okay? You use uh, contractions and it was nice to use the superlative structures, okay? That was, that's actually what you think and what you need to do in part, uh, sorry, part two and part three in particular. And uh, you used passive, Is it is located back in my, that I was nice using a, or talking about past, but you had some minor mistakes. Fishes, it's actually fish, okay? It's not countable when you talk about one fish, two fish, okay, or many fish. And uh, you repeat it in my age four, maybe three or four times. It's at my age, okay? The preposition is at, not in. And one of the most important one, you said, it's one of the most important ones, one of the, one of my friends, not one of my friend, okay? Just, if you just, be careful more about them you will definitely be uh, safer okay so you got a seven for your grammar you had minor mistakes that didn't make me confuse and didn't uh, just cause any uh, misunderstanding that was fine let's talk about your pronunciation your pronunciation was clear to be honest you were totally understandable throughout the test I could get what you said you had some uh, mispronunciations However, uh, like stadium, it's stadium, okay? I can get you, but it's better to pronounce the word correctly when it comes to the test. If you were friends talking in a cafe, it would be fine. I could totally get you, okay? Uh, and you said concert, it's concert, okay? And uh, sometimes maybe you need to go for other features of pronunciation, like intonation, okay? When it comes to going up and down, okay? just. Sometimes you need to emphasize the, on some words, so it's better to use some features for pronunciation to help you uh, get a better band score. You got a seven for your pronunciation, so uh, a seven for grammar, a seven for pronunciation, and six in fluency and vocabulary. Your overall band score would be uh, 6.5, which is great, and you are very close to seven, and if you just uh, go for maybe the as you said, the uh, stress or those kind of things that you had, as well as following the tips I gave you, you will definitely get the seven, which is a perfect band score. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Oh, no, thanks a lot for everything. No problem. And uh, do you mind if we you share your uh, video on our social media, like YouTube channel or our website? No, it wouldn't be a problem. Okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, and you. take care. Speaking course. This course is made up of five offline speaking videos in which you will learn all the necessary tips and techniques to take the IELTS speaking test with a high score. Tell me about your family. Do you like In addition to that, you will have access to useful grammar and vocabulary resources. Once you finish your course, you will have one online mock test of speaking along with comprehensive feedback under the same exam conditions. Interesting question. Very... Join us to become our next successful candidate.